a playlist original. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Back to the Blockbuster with your hosts, Gaius and Jackson. Our second Feb- uh, anniversary episode of the year, our first of February. Thank you for uh, making the Varsity Blues episode do really well uh, as well. Uh, and thanks, Merck, uh, JC, for uh, helping us out with that one. Uh, we weren't going to do a uh, guest on a lot of our anniversary episodes. We're going to play in it by year. But um, we're doing one for uh, Friday the 13th, the remake, its 15th anniversary. And uh, we thought we should actually have some guests on that we, we thought would be good for this one because uh, they're horror movie people. And they've been on the show with us before. And we've been on their show. And it felt like a good time to bring back Alex and Dean of the Return yes. Revenge Resurrection podcast. Welcome so, back. Welcome, welcome back, guys. guys. Hey, Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, so we were. Uh, I was uh, really excited to. This was one of the anniversaries I knew I wanted to do, even though I, I know I said some things off camera about uh, how I felt about the movie. I did want to revisit it to kind of see how I felt about it, and I thought you guys would be fun to revisit this movie with us. Uh, so and kind of get mm-hmm. your thoughts on it. <laughs> Yeah, Dean sends me a message and he goes, hey, <laughs> the guys from Back to the Blockbuster want to have us back on the show. And I'm like, fuck yeah. And then he's like, and they want to talk about Friday the 13th from 2009. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Not Damn. exactly what you wanted to cover. Right? Oh, God. <laughs> what, what, okay, on that note then, Alex, what, what was your experience with this remake? When did you see it last? When was your first? Had you seen it before? Okay, and so then Dean, I... I'll pitch it to you after as well. Yeah, this movie I saw for the first time, God, probably five, six years ago, something like that. Oh, okay. And I've watched it only one other time in between. So, so like, I, I remembered watching it and I remembered not liking it. So then when I rewatched it like a year or so ago, I went, yeah, no, I was right. I hate this movie. It's really bad. <laughs> Sometimes it takes two viewings to really solidify an opinion. Yeah, yeah. And so then I watched it a third time. So then I watched it a third time for this uh, for this episode. And yeah, no, this is just dog shit. Didn't do anything for you. And, and, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. So like, I knew we had to record tonight. Okay, I I know I know what's <laughs> happening. But with everything that happened during the day, my wife's birthday stuff, I just I forgot about it. Okay, so. <laughs> We, we said we were going to start at 8.30, all right? And I realized this at 7.45. <laughs> I, had, I hadn't rewatched the movie. I hadn't rewatched the movie. So I have, this, I have this extension on my computer where I can speed things up. So I watched this movie at times three the normal speed. Lucky all right? you. And this movie oh, wow. still fucking dragged. It still went on forever. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I was wow. just saying too. In between here, I remember thinking this movie has to be over soon, and I still had half an hour left. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, it hurts. How about you, Dean? Uh, yeah, I watched this movie for the first time. Actually, I think just last year. Oh wow! Um, yeah, I had watched. What really kind of got me into horror was um, watching Halloween, Friday the Thirteenth, Nightmare on Elm Street. I tried to watch them all in an October, like two or three years ago i just tried to i think it was three years ago i just tried to like watch them all and that was like yeah that was my first like jump into horror i was like i'm gonna do it all i love these i love franchise movies let's watch them all and um i never got to it during that watch like i didn't finish it all in october so i got like all the way in in the friday movies i got all the way to jason takes manhattan um so i didn't get any further past that so just last year i was like well i should knock off the ones i haven't seen uh, so yeah, I watched this last year and thought it was awful. Like I didn't like it at all. Um, I was like mad at it a little bit. Uh, and so like leading up, leading up to this episode, uh, I was just like, oh yeah, okay. I got to watch this thing again. And, uh, my wife likes to watch movies with me too. So, um, she hadn't seen that when I watched it before. And so I was just prepping her. I'm like, it's awful. I'm telling you, it's going to feel like a waste of time. And yep. I don't know. I don't know. This happens on our show don't, a lot. Alex. Don't you're do probably, it. No, no. You're probably so mad at me right now. I know you can't <laughs> handle me. I know you haven't. I don't know how you haven't just left me now for another co-host. But damn it, if I didn't like it this time. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. I had a, oh, I had a go. fun time. It was okay. <laughs> oh. This is a movie I think I would have enjoyed more with company, with an audience, because I watched it by myself in my room and I was checking the time. Like I think yeah. it would be fun in some moments with 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 friends, like like minded people that you know are just watching it for the sake of watching it. But I uh, yeah, I'm with you, Alex. And it seems like Gaius, you might fall a little bit in the middle. 
Um, yeah, I am. Um, I'm glad, Dean, that you enjoyed it more this time around. That's nice. Yeah, hey, me I'm too. glad we have this like differences of opinion. Uh, I, yeah, so that's I, always I, good. I, I saw this in theaters when it came out, which is like, I feel like that's how I, I saw all of our anniversary episodes. Like, I saw yeah. this when it came out. Um, <laughs> but I saw it, I saw it on opening night with a group of friends, and we were super excited about it because it did open on Friday the 13th, and it was of a course. pretty big, crowded, packed theater when we saw it. And we got through that opening which is like that first like over 20 minute opening that was actually yeah, not that, that bad it, it, the movie it feel, yeah, it, yeah. yeah it, it feels like yeah. and once that title card came up like the whole crowd was like cheering we were like all right we're in for something good and then it feels like a totally different person directed the rest of it yeah it's like yeah. it just it feels like an entire and i think it's because like you get introduced to all these other characters that pop in and they're not other than jenna who like I'll talk about more about her later, but like the rest of them, I mean, you get, I mean, you meet Clay and who's looking for his sister and all that, but there's all these other characters that they're just basically stereotypes and that's how they just fit a certain mold and they, you know, they're there to up the body count. They're not entirely likable other than Jenna. And it just goes like completely by the numbers after that incredible opening, what, 25 minute. Yeah, I I, I I remember I remember when we first saw that we didn't realize we hadn't seen the title card yet. <laughs> after yeah, that yeah. after the after that opening, I was like, oh shit! Like, but like I don't know. It starts out so well, and I remember like when it was over. I remember my friend was like, well, it's better than like those god awful sequels to Friday the Thirteenth, right? And like tried to convince me that like it wasn't as you know, it's definitely better than that. And I was like, yeah, I guess it's more polished, and you know, it looks great. Um, and he kind of like gaslit me and gaslit me and believe me. I'm like, yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. And then I would like watch those, going. like, and then I would watch like part three, four, five, six. And they, you know, they're not great movies, but at least they're fun. And they yeah, go yeah. by like that. <laughs> and then I was like, no, it's not. It's not as good as those. It's, it, I, I know that it wanted to be. I actually had to write a feature about this movie for Movie Web about why I didn't think it worked. And I think a lot of it has, I think a lot of it goes back to Platinum Dunes and them thinking they knew what the Friday 13 franchise was and what they should do with it. And there was stuff that they changed that, like with Jason in particular, that just didn't work. And uh, I don't know. I mean, it looks great. And there are some fun kills and I love the opening. Um, Mm. But it, like I said, it felt long. When I looked at the back of the Blu-ray, I was like, how long is this movie? And it was like, it's 97. I didn't even watch the unrated cut. I just watched their 97-minute like cut of it, yeah. and it felt long. Like by, the, by the time you get to that second stretch after the opening, it it's like you've started a whole new movie and a, a movie that's not as good <laughs> than, than that yeah. opening. Too. Yeah, I think that happens Absolutely. when you right. hit when you hit it hard, like when you hit the movie fast, hard, it's like oh, right out the gate, it's really great, everyone's into it. Then you hit a title card and just like halt, like slow yeah. right down. <laughs> yep, and yep, everyone yep. just like pulls back and then they're, after 15 minutes of that, you're like checking your watch because you're like, when's this thing going to get back going again? Because I was way up there <laughs> and then you brought me yeah. all the way down. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, you... I, I, I just wanted to agree with Gaius that like, when you try to like compare it to three, four, five, six. It just like the thing I really didn't like about this movie the first time I watched it, it does not feel like a Friday the 13th movie. Like it doesn't have, I agree. it does yeah. not have that feel at yeah. all, which was what I was looking for the first time. I just wanted to have like a fun time with a Friday movie. That's, that's that franchise for me. You know, it's just like, those are the fun movies. You, you just have a good time with them. Didn't feel like that at all. Felt too serious. I hated all the characters. So oh my God, that, me too. Yeah, that's why I didn't like it the first time. And then I think knowing that going in, I was just like, okay, I'll just put that all aside. I don't care about that anymore. And then I was able to enjoy some stuff. But yeah, it, it doesn't feel like a Friday movie. At all. Yeah, I agree with you. I'm glad that you got to enjoy it because to me, it was a 97 minutes. I'm not going to get back. But yeah. you know, <laughs> at least putting some of that into this episode will kind of release well, that. Well, it's like, it's like too clean. I mean, I, know, I get like it's, it's a newer movie, right? And it has a bigger budget than like the other ones. And it's just the nature of the beast. Like it would be really polished and like more cinematic than like the ones we've gotten before. But it there is something about it that's just I don't know. They I, it should have been dirtied up a bit, even though there's a lot of yeah. gore and a lot of stuff like that. It's just something about it that it you're right, it doesn't feel like a Friday the 13th movie at all, other than kind of featuring like little Easter eggs and nods to the movies that you know. I mean, that was a big decision that they, you know, because everyone that people listening like if you've seen the original Friday the 13th, Jason is not uh, the killer in that. It's his mother. So there was like a decision, I guess, by them, like with what, how are they going to 
remake Friday the 13th. And then they just made the decision to kind of throw in like a hodgepodge of one, two, three, and four. That's what they said. And uh, so you get, so yeah. you get like a lot of elements across those four movies. Some of them are like smaller than others. Um, and I think because of that whole weird hodgepodge of like mixing that, it just also doesn't work either. Um, I, I would love for them to be brave enough to just remake it and just have be the remake would be like his mom other than Jason. But I know that Jason mm. is the iconic figure in this franchise. So that'd be hard to do. And I get why they didn't make that decision, but um, you know, throwing all, I mean, and I, I kind of feel like their idea was like, Hey, like we'll just throw in these like cool little Easter eggs and fans will love it. <laughs> and uh, maybe some did, uh, but some of it just feels like, Oh, I can see what they were trying to do. That just didn't. Well, when the way for they wanted me, to. potato sack Jason really landed for me. That was great. I love seeing him in that mask that he has in uh, two and part of three, which yeah. is quite cool. But yeah, once he finds his mask, I was like, okay. And, and the shots, like the scenes of Jason are really are like where this movie lands. Like not all of it. There's definitely some things that are wrong about his character or, or different that don't land with me. But for the most part, what I enjoy about this movie is exclusively when Jason is involved and particularly um, his his more retro potato sacks style mask is yeah. honestly pretty cool throwback. I like that. I don't know about you guys. Um, obviously he's known for his hockey mask, yeah. but um, I love yeah, the no. bag. I think the bag's better. Yep. I think bag it's, is, uh, I think it's better. Yeah, I agree. Uh, much more terrifying. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, <laughs> you're like, you're like, <laughs> <Alex>. <laughs> you're like, uh, <laughs> you biting your tongue right now. Yeah. No, no, no. I, so, no, it's just, so I, I liked the, like, um, the bit of the first movie that it gives us showing that it was, you know, the mom who was killing people the whole time. And then we get, we get that really kick-ass 20 minute, uh, like short film at the beginning there. And I just, I just kept thinking that should have been the whole movie right yeah. there. It should have been this. Don't worry about giving us some sort of origin for, for Jason. Okay, because right. that's what I tried. To, it, it was like, okay, this is where he found the mask. Um, this is, you know, this is what he's. I don't care about any of that. That doesn't matter. All right, everyone knows who Jason is. Start him off in the mask, or or choose the bag, whatever you want to do. But most likely, they're going to go with the mask. That's the most iconic look, I think. Mm. Uh, so just start him there and have the whole movie be about the this group of kids who are trying to find weed. Like they're out in the middle of the woods <laughs> and they're trying to find weed. All right, that yeah, to me was way more on his territory. Yeah, right. That, that I think that I think could have been fun. There was no fun to this movie. They kept trying to show us the characters having fun, but it never actually felt that way. No, uh, felt very man, it felt very so manufactured. Forced. It felt so yes. forced. Yeah. yeah. It was like this is what young adults act like. That's what they, I feel like they were trying to do. Like, it, like people yeah. in their early twenties act like this. I was like, uh, it was very. I mean, some characters are worse than others. Uh, but yeah, I get your point. And actually, it's not like the characters from the opening are that much less annoying. But no, I mean, I would have spent. I would have gladly spent the time with them over the second group. And maybe throw in right. like a Jenna in that first group. I don't know, but mm -hmm. I guess Whitney mm -hmm. would have felt feel that gap too. If they, if they weren't going to have exactly. like those other yep. characters, like we wouldn't need a Jenna at all, and we could have just stayed with. Uh, I mean, I get. I mean, I I like there. There is something in the idea that I think could have worked. Um, had those characters on the back end been more interesting and not completely unlikable, other than Jenna. Yeah, the right. the first group like felt not like obnoxious teens like it did still right. feel like you know i don't like them but they feel like that could be a group of kids whereas like the second group didn't feel like people like the, no. that did not feel <laughs> like a group of friends at all um they yeah they just and i think like the movie doesn't even know what they've made with those characters like it, it forgets relationships that it's set up and it just like yeah. i don't even think it cares like the movie doesn't even no, care about yeah. its characters at all I don't know why they're why they're at this house at all. Like why yeah. or why uh, or why they friends with Trent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, credit to Travis Van Winkle. That was a great name, by the way. Who plays him? <laughs> yeah. Uh, because I he, he's so over the top douchey that you're just like the, the only benefit is to see you die horrifically yeah. later yeah. in the movie. And the fact that he gets to he, that he sticks around as long as he does, they're like, all right, this uh, better be good. And it ends up being good. Like he, he has that like really really yep. fun scream thing. And like it's great. But yeah. like, yeah, I don't understand like how they're all friends. And they all just feel like 
they just I, when they wrote this script, they checked bo- boxes. They're like douchey white guy. They got one black friend, one stoner friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one, it's a one walking cliche. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. One, like one slutty blonde friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. So it. So I mean, I, and someone made this argument to me that the other Friday Thirteenth movies are like this, and but I don't feel it as much watching it I, mean, right? I don't know i don't know yeah i mean it just didn't work here really and i i wish i could fully explain why it works in those and not yeah. so much here it just doesn't for me at all really right maybe those I earlier think, movies they're not so tired tropes at that point perhaps yeah that could be yeah, yeah. Sorry, that could be Alex, too. i just cut you off no 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 I, I i think part of it though is those move those older movies i don't think were very good okay a, a lot of them aren't very good all right even yeah, co- right. even compared to this one oh. yeah i'm yeah. a little bit removed from the i haven't really seen any of the the 80s 90s sequels beyond what's the one where he gets resurrected by the lightning rod is that jason lives uh, that's, yeah that's jason yeah. Lives. yeah yeah i've seen that's that a, that's like a, a fun comedy one. yeah exactly yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah that's a fun one dude yeah, there's a point I wanted to get back to just towards the beginning. Gaius, I think you were talking about that opening montage with uh, Pamela Voorhees, and I can't remember the name of the final girl from the first, but was that reshot for the purpose of this movie, or was that actual footage from the original? No, it's just movie? new. It's just new footage. New? Okay. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. wasn't positive, yeah. but I got that uh, that vibe, but I, I don't know why they – I think it would have worked better if they had to just use that stock footage. To tell that part oh, of the story, oh, actually, would have been actually that would have been. They could have totally done that. I guess, yeah, yeah. they could have done that, and it would have worked. Yeah, I was like, yeah. kind of rack my brain trying to think, why do they not do like, why go through the trouble of refilming that and doing it worse? I don't know. Because they needed to put the locket in the big, right. oh, oh yeah, oh, was, the main yeah. thing of the movie, the yes. locket. Yeah. See, I, I forgot cares that wasn't about in the it. original. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Which answers another question I had that I, if I had been more invested in this, I would have, I'm sure, put two and two together. But I'm guessing. Jason lets Whitney live and like keeps her in his little lair because sh- she reminds him of his mother. I'm guessing the yeah, locker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she looks. She looks like because they they make it a point like when they find. First of all, I don't even know why they even go searching around the decrepit house. They're like, and they're just like, she finds it and she's and he's like, oh yeah, that looks like you. You should keep, keep it. it. Like, yeah. No, why would she keep <laughs> <No>. it? <laughs> like, why would no. she keep it? So you... like they are they already hinting at the fact that oh yeah, she looks like his mother. And that was yeah. one of the first things about the character that I didn't like that they did was because i in, in any other friday 13 movie whitney would have died right there before that title card came up yeah, oh, yeah. So, I mean, like she yep. would she would yeah he would have killed her and so the whole idea of like this is i mean i know like when they were writing it they probably thought like oh let's go into his psyche a little bit and like you don't really need to do that it's friday 13 i don't need that <laughs> there, no. there's no it's not necessary to do it yeah um, also he like he rushed her with the machete right and then, yes. it, and then it was title card it's like that works so much better if he killed her like uh, that's, yes. that's yeah. so much more hard hitting <laughs> right it's yeah it's just like we got death 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 and they were showing everything and all of a sudden he just like runs at the last one title card it's like oh that was great yeah. but then no she's alive <laughs> you'll find her no, later she's alive <laughs> yeah and I, I guess I kind of like in my mind when we first saw it because that girl Amanda right she was on TV and stuff back then I was like oh what's she's yeah. a big enough name that they wouldn't have killed her off then I guess yeah <laughs> I, I guess I should assume that she would have come back like that but I remember being disappointed I was like oh like he kept her like hostage I mean not hostage like you know he, he's basically trying to create like a new home where she <laughs> is his mother I guess <laughs> and, I suppose uh, yeah because they kind of kind of re- yeah. redo. They kind of redo Jason as more of like survivalist now. That's protecting his home from like from all right, these other yeah. people who are getting in, into Camp Crystal Lake. Uh, and he even sets up like traps and shit. And like, yeah. I, I guess that's well, kind of cool. Did you guys <laughs> made him read? Smart. I guess the inspiration for the Jason in this movie was. Uh from john rambo in, in the first first blood movie that was um, okay. which i'm like it, seeing the movie it, it it does seem like that like he's very much protecting yeah, totally. his territory i'm like that is that's kind what of everyone wants to see of everyone course wants to yeah. see the jason rambo yeah <laughs> wow. and so for the most part i think he lives up to that inspiration yeah um, yeah. Spe- yeah speaking of like his like home area there did he grow that field of weed to attract teens yeah right <laughs> right yeah <laughs> that is, is that his field of weed <laughs> i think Where it is. Did he become a botanist <laughs> they, they come yeah. to him they come to him he doesn't yeah, have to search just, i don't have, have to chase out. them down <laughs> yeah. they'll come to me yeah brilliant if and it's true. like a special kind of weed apparently because the guy was like the way you're describing it yeah it's almost like it's like magical i was like so he, he he's that smart 
They, I mean, he's yeah. not dumb. <laughs> I mean, yeah. he sets up booby traps. He grows weed. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. This is the smartest is Jason in, in, in any of the movies. This and that was my movie. biggest problem with him. That was my yeah. biggest problem with him is that he never really felt like like Jason. No. In, this. in, yeah. in look only. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. he looked kind of cool, yeah. I guess. Oh, but... he looked badass for sure. Yeah. yeah uh, Derek Mears, who plays him, did a good job. I mean, I, this is someone that I guess he took the part. A lot of these guys who take these roles who are they get into character and they really love playing them. And he really did love playing Jason and he does a good job. I mean, he's very physically imposing and like he gets it. Yeah. He gets that part. Right. And I love he's that they did like, like, like a motherfucker. A, yeah. <laughs> Cause in the first, in yeah. the second, third and fourth one, Jason does run. He doesn't really walk after anyone. So I, I did like right. they did that in this yeah. one where he was running yeah. after them and not just slowly lumbering after them. Uh, so I yeah. thought that was good. Um, but yeah, the, the the thing with Whitney, it just rings kind of false and it kind of dilutes him a little bit. They being like, 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 like you'll be yeah. my new mother now. <laughs> like it's just so weird. Yeah, it's a little confusing <laughs> because there were also yeah. weren't really scenes between the two of them. So it was just like at a all little confusing yeah, not, why yeah. he would keep her. Yeah. yeah. It's, there's just that one scene where he's like looking at the locket and she's kind of like, oh, and she kind of gets it. Like, oh, is that why I'm yeah. here? <laughs> and that was it. There was no other like yeah. unless, there's no in the indication that he had been why, like, did he just see her in that moment? It was like, whoa, you look like my mother, like right before he <laughs> killed her boyfriend. He was, <laughs> like, he was sprinting at her with a machete. Yeah. Was like, yeah. Oh, wait. Well, and then he caught her, he caught her in the, the right he light. The right yeah. light. The right yeah. light. Yeah. Mom, Last is that split you? second. <laughs> okay. Can we? I think this movie is a contender, at least the screenplay, for the horniest screenplay ever yeah. written in the history of film. Like every yeah. single part of this. Yeah, structure of this movie is like when, like completely based in sex. It is like it's yeah. so Michael Bay didn't like, Michael so Bay didn't like that. Michael Bay, yeah, yeah. I read he walked out actually yeah, at the premiere. Huh? Yeah, he was and like because you know he was a part of Platinum Dudes. He walked out. Yeah, now, there. And I guess the Friday the 13th movies are known for sex and there's nudity oh, yeah. and violence. Right. But yeah. but I but even in those they weren't like just kind of like thrown at you. Like this was like over the top. Like oh, God, I mean, yes. she's yeah. Uh, she's uh, like jet ski or water skiing topless. <laughs> topless. <laughs> like, what, wait, what, what is the reason? This? What is going on? I, I do need. That's the reason. <laughs> yeah, Dean. I here. I have something I need to admit to you. Um, okay. I've been thinking about it for a while. Okay. I need to. I need to let you know. That you saw me bottomless water skiing. You have. <laughs> you have perfect nipple placement. Oh, oh, and stupendous oh. tits. Stupendous How about that one? Yeah. That was, yeah. I laughed out loud at that. Like, so yeah. juicy, dude. What the fuck was it's I So doing? juicy, wow. yeah. So juicy, wow. dude. Dude, dude. Yeah. Yeah. dude. So juicy, dude. And that scene is long, by the way. It's, it like it's goes on long. forever. And I was like, yes. I was like, it's not done yet. And yep. I mean, it is kind of it is kind of funny that Whitney is like running up to them to like ask for help, and then Jason just grabs her, and they never see her because you know they're having sex. But like, I thought that was kind of funny, but yeah, it goes on yeah. a little too long. And I agree with you, Jackson. It is a very horny movie. Um, yes, yeah, for no particular reason other than like they probably were like, yeah, this is what fans want to see, right? And within reason. I mean, it it yeah. just seems like when it's gratuitous like that, it feels like all right, <laughs> you it's a bit too far. Yeah, like there's so ways to incorporate movie. that. Yeah. yeah, it was it was one of the things I didn't really like the first time because it just felt very forced. Where mm -hmm. this time around, I was just like, it's fun to watch horny people make horrible decisions. It's funny yeah. that their horniness is taking control of them so much that they are making such terrible decisions. So I did enjoy it this time. But that like... <laughs> You're that, alone there, Dean. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm glad um, for you, though. And I, yeah, I thought I wouldn't like it, but it, I, I, I don't know. But that scene with like Trent and Brie, that sex scene that goes on for so long, like this is where the movie forgets what it's set up because like Jenna yes. comes to the door and is trying to get them out because Jason's there. She's not mad that Trent's no, in there with Brie. Trent no, doesn't she even isn't. seem <laughs> to worry about it either. He's not like, oh, my girlfriend's at the door trying to get in. He doesn't worry at all. He's like, go away. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, there's no one out there. They're just lying to us. Like, the movie has totally forgotten that they were dating. Yeah, yeah. these people yeah. are all, they all claim to be friends, but they're complete strangers to each other. <laughs> yeah, there's no emotion. <laughs> there's no emotion either when, like, when they see their friend die. There's nothing. Yeah. It's just, oh, a body. Yeah. Great point, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah. There's no stakes <clears throat> in the in terms of the relationships. A uh, big instance for me was when, um, 
oh, what is his name? When Lawrence gets the axe in the back, and like there's a little bit of a debate on if they should go out and help him, but no one oh, really seems like they're doing it like that. Like, like this is their friend that they're watching like bleed out or die or is in imminent danger. I didn't right. buy that there were stakes there at all. Yeah. Bree just wants like him to stop crying, basically. Yeah, yeah, like, she yeah, just shut up, yeah. Shut up. Oh, she's yeah. like, you can yeah. go get she him goes, because yeah. he's too loud. Oh, and yeah. then as soon as he stops, she's she's like, okay, oh, okay. Thank okay. Yeah. yeah, thank you. That, act, that particular actress looks like she was like, yeah, this is my moment. I'm gonna have this moment. Oh where, yeah, like, I'm, I'm acting right now. Mm. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, why yeah. is she? I was like, I was like, why is she doing this? I'm like, whatever. Uh, well, I remember when we first saw the movie, my buddy Sean, like, like turned to me in the theater when that happened to Lawrence and he's like do you feel like some type of way about this that they're like leaving him out there I was like uh <laughs> no, I, no I mean it, yeah, yeah I get what you're saying <laughs> I totally get what you're saying yeah. uh but most of us probably I, mean, I love that they set it up as like no it's a trap like he wants us to go out there so like we can't go get him i did yeah. love that lawrence was like yo he was the only one that seemed like he had a friend he was like yo that's my boy out there yeah. I gotta go like right. I gotta go make yeah. sure he's all right so and he took like that frying it. pan walk as like a shield. That was awesome. <laughs> that, was <a> shield. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, I think there's something oh, to be said man. too about Jason's accuracy in that movie. That axe throw Ooh. and that yeah. that uh, it's a cool that's arrow. arrow. The arrow yeah. is yeah. incredible. That was insane. He, he is Rambo. He is he Rambo. Is Rambo. <laughs> that's what actually is a great point too. It's Just a Rambo. Quite, a, quite an archery shot. And, <laughs> right am I, am I wrong? I don't even think you even see him with a bow at any point in the movie. Do he lowers he lowers so, the bow there. Yeah, the oh, he lowered. I didn't yeah. even see it. I might have been yeah. half because I know he raises the machete after that when she sees yeah. him. Yeah, he had just like put the bow oh, away okay. and then he raised okay. up the machete. No, he he th he just threw the arrow like a spear. <laughs> 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 Boom! I, He's got a I remember the theater when we saw it. When we saw it in theaters, when she got hit by the boat, I don't know if it was just an uncomfortable laughter, but everyone just started laughing like in the entire right. theater because it was just so ridiculous that she it, didn't try to like get out the way, and she was like, "She's yeah. like, stop, oh. stop!" Like, clunk. <laughs> was, yeah, I. I <laughs> that was one of the standout moments of the movie for me because I'm like, okay, she's going to get like decapitated by the propeller or something. I didn't remember this part, like how that played out. But no, she just takes a boat in the face full force and like has like, I guess, a cut head after it and is fine. Yeah. yeah. Like, that Somehow was just... she can swim. She can swim yeah. to shore. Yeah. 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 So her original death scene, I guess, was different. Uh, they were going to have her get hit by the boat. That was that happened. And then Jason was supposed to basically taunt her uh because he's not going to get in the water because he'll drown because he hates the water right. <laughs> and, and then she ends up like terrified and just drowns to death like she doesn't that's that's how she originally died that was and, but then they, actually smart and then they changed it to what we got which is her getting like, They're like can we pull her out of the head. water though yeah. just for Make a little it. bit yeah yeah one more peak yep. um, yeah how many seconds of nudity do we have it's not enough <laughs> yeah. can we add three more please and that was oh, pop boy. star Willa Ford. She had like one song in like the late nineties. Oh, oh, really? oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. She she was right. part of the the uh, uh, like D Squad, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera movement. Like she wasn't okay. like she had she had like one big song, and then that was yeah. it. And she disappeared. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, that is that is her. Interesting. Uh, smacked in the head with a boat. I mean, <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> nudity aside, though, like we know why the kill happens the way that it does, but that's a cool looking kill. The way oh, yeah. that the machete goes through, goes through Ew, the door, yeah. gets her in the head and like pulls her out of the water yeah. a little bit. Yeah. I agree. That was I I thought that was pretty creative. It looks great. Like it it looks so seamless. Like it, yeah. I, I don't I don't really know yeah. how it happens. There's, you know, it there's a lot of happens. kills in in this movie that that feel that way. Uh the kid who takes the uh takes the machete to the head at the beginning of the movie, uh oh, yeah. the bear, no, in, that, 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 that's the trap. Yeah. 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 yeah, that yeah, was great. That that one was really, really good. Yeah. So all the kills in that opening are pretty deep. Like the, the home chicken, like the, the the sleeping bag. Like I thought that was cool. It oh, was brutal, but it was yeah. cool. Brutal. Oh, it was cool. Yeah. Didn't seem like yeah. Jason's mo to me at all, though. That one felt out of place. As like good as it was as a kill, like I, I don't. Is there are there any examples of Jason doing anything like that in like any that, sequels? So that felt more I'm like a to... kill from from something like Jason X. You know, because he's right. Yeah. Like he, so he does. He does like. I think he has someone in a sleeping bag that he bangs against a tree. And the that tree. Which one is that? It's in the it's in the seventh one. It's uh the new blood. Oh yeah. He, uh, yeah. Yeah. Seven. yeah okay. He picks it up. And I think they cut. They, 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 there were supposed to be multiple swings, and they cut it down to get the R rating. But he he swung that person several times <laughs> oh, to the tree, okay. and they had to cut it down. Yeah. But yeah, I thought. But yeah, it's it's a little. I mean, I get. But this Jason's more tactical and like not as like he'll yeah. like, throw axes, but yeah. he'll also like. 
<laughs> burn you up alive in a sleeping bag. <laughs> yeah. 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 Set up air trap. Like there's, yeah, there's so, so how much. How did he know on. he was going right there? How did he know he was going to be in that exact spot? <laughs> I mean, smart. what is the he radius? Knows. What is the radius of a bear trap? I guess he's Rambo, so he's going to fucking True. know this stuff. Also, yeah. two bear traps utilized in this movie, which is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's an underrated weapon. Right. Yeah, for sure. It was fun. More yeah, because he, he got it in the back, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then I guess there was also one used a few years later in Cabin in the Woods. I think Saw really popularized that trap. The bear mm. trap. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Which is pretty yeah. cool. But yeah. yeah, two I thought was quite cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trent does have a fun. It, it's just this delivery when he, uh, after they get out of the room after having sex and he sees that she's back with uh clay and he's like you've been gone for like eight hours just like fucking all over the woods this guy is like not at least she had the home. decency to leave and go fuck in the woods you were doing it right <laughs> there in the house. Yeah, yeah right there didn't even care Man. i don't think trent has a single redeemable quality he is just no Tail yeah, nope. and, they, and they make it clear from the start yeah. that he sucks yeah there's like there, there, there's no like uh no nah, he might be no he's awful like from dialogue one <laughs> until <Yeah>. he dies <laughs> there are no arcs there are no, no, like, no. no. Arcs. there are just stereotypes <laughs> and like your one characteristic is only going to be that stereotype and that's it that's all you're allowed to talk about <laughs> like every time you talk it has to be about you know whatever that is <laughs> whatever that stereotype is yeah, yeah I, I feel like the entire cast gets a pick out of the hat one character trait right. to have and yeah. they were bound right. to that for the entire yeah. shoot the it's entire stoner. shoot uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah i got the stoner oh. yeah <laughs> shit <laughs> i feel like the movie kind of acknowledges the stereotypes uh at the beginning when uh when the one guy is talking about uh, working on his music, and and of course because he's black, she goes, "Oh, rap," and he's like, "Oh, the oh, rap, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't yeah. pigeonhole me, because, yeah, don't pigeonhole me." And she's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," and he goes, "No, it's actually rap, like, it's like rap. yeah, no, 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 it's stereotypes. That's it. That's it." Nothing yeah. beyond that. I do like the Green Day reference. That was cool. Is it, oh, because I'm black, I can't listen to Green Day. The Green but Day actually <laughs> kind of made me kick giggles. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah. One yeah, of but you're moments. right. You're right. There are just like it's all there. There are more types than actual people, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and yeah, I don't like... see. I don't see how they're friends. And I, I, you know, I didn't have. I mean, we used to know people that had like, oh, their dad had this, and like, oh, they, they they're gonna go to their like cabin, their week, whatever. And but if they were assholes, I was like, I, let me, you gotta pick. <laughs> like, I, I don't want to yeah. spend the whole weekend with you just right. because like your parents are out of town. <laughs> like that's right. not. Yeah, yeah, totally. And like, there, yeah, there is no justification for them all to be fr- like. None of them are really friendly to each other, like enough to be like, oh yeah, they. How long they've been no. friends? They've been friends to like high school. Like, what is? Yeah, there are no really no character dynamics, like friendship dynamics, explored in this movie at all between yeah. those characters. Yeah, that's Trent- why I think it's problematic to introduce them too. Like once, you, like I was like, all right, well. I, I want them to bring something if you're going to bring them in late in the game like that. So it's like 25 yeah. minutes after the movie opens right. and yeah. they really don't yeah. bring anything to it other than the fact that, like, all right, they're just going to add to the body count. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. what they're there for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. At least the first group were actually like friends. I could tell they were friends, but friends, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the second group, it's like Trent invited everyone to his cabin, but didn't want anyone at his cabin. Like he yeah. hated yeah. that people were there. And yeah. it's like, it's yours. You invited them here. It's not like people crashed your cabin. Like yeah. you brought them here. You were right. driving the truck. And <laughs> and now you're yeah. You brought them here yeah. and now you hate that they're here. Yeah. It just like <laughs> didn't work at all. Well, uh, Danielle Pannenbaker even says something about this. She goes, why did you invite these people here? Like, yeah. We're, oh, yeah. we're asking the same thing. Why yeah. did you yeah. invite these people here? And the, yeah, yeah, the movie's like, we're not going to answer it, but we, right. we, yeah, yeah. we wanted you to know that we also want to know yeah, why. Yeah. Listen, might have been we here. get it. We get it. But, we're not going to provide but, an, an answer, but we the get question. It. But also, yeah. but okay. also, also, Jenna, but we want to know why you're dating him. So, I mean, yeah, also no one does anything like real human beings in this movie at all. Like no, no one, no. no one, no one is a person. How many times have you like gone and done something with your friends and they've gone in just the other room and you thought I'm going to jerk off right now, right here in the open. <laughs> that was wild. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. I was like, that what? was wild. What? I was, he... I was, I was very pleased with the like desperation that he just like grabs <laughs> this catalog and it's just like this woman that's fully clothed but it's like at least he's found a picture i love right. the desperation but just like in the bathroom or something that would work no. yeah. or when no. like living she, 
when Chewie is in the, I don't even know what you'd call it, like that other building right off the cabin. I, yeah. yeah. Literally don't even know what it was, a garage or a... When shed he's in there, something. like, yeah, shed, I guess, a kind of a big shed. He makes Huge. a funny comment yeah. about it. He goes, poor people call this a house. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. kind of had me giggling about, yeah, when, like, any of his, like, uh, like movements, interactions that he has by himself in there were, like, just completely manufactured. Like, no one acts like that, like, no. to your point, yeah. Alex. No one... And But I think the biggest... The most egregious part though was the dialogue for me at almost every point this is not how people talk whoever yeah. wrote this has not spoken to a human being before or had no yeah, interest in, in trying to replicate human dialogue yeah this went to like two screenwriters that should have been like yo is this how we should check and see how people actually talk to each other yeah and how and yeah. how friends actually are when they hang out but no they didn't <laughs> they no i i really think they thought they wrote something that they really thought horror fans would love I think so too. They're, yeah, because there's there seems they seem to revel in all the stuff that they think that we'll like, and uh, it turns out a lot of people. I mean, I'm not. We're not the only ones that have had this opinion. Of this movie. A lot of people don't like it all that much, or wanted it to be better than what it was. It's and got a 34 meta score, so yeah, it's like a 25 or so around to me. But, yeah. but I guess they've all they've all gotten bad reviews. But fair like, enough. Uh, but yeah, no, this one. I think there were more hopes that this was going to be. Because I mean, it doesn't really. You're just remaking Friday the Thirteenth. It's I got like for instance, I had no issues with them touching this in the way that I had issues with Rob Zombie doing Halloween. Because I was like, well, that is sacrilegious. Yep. But like yeah. Friday the Thirteenth, I was like, you can go ahead. Like, okay, okay. That, there's 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 room for improvement there. So okay, like... so piggybacking <laughs> that, which movie do you like more, Rob Zombie's first Halloween or this? Oh, that's that's mean. <laughs> this? No, I can I can do it. I can do. It. I don't I don't like either movie. I don't like either okay. movie, but I like I like Halloween more than this one. Okay, I'm with no. you. It seems like we're split down yeah. the middle. I'm with you, Alex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, listen, I, I don't can't... like either Rob <laughs> Halloween more than this. I like I the Michael Myers better in Rob Zombies than I like Jason okay. in this for sure. Okay. I, I, I get yeah. it with like the first half hour, like his whole backstory. Like I'm with you on that. Like take that out. But what we get for grown up Michael, I love, but. Like that just didn't feel anything. I can't, I yeah, can't, okay, in, okay. In good, I can't in good conscience say I like Fair Halloween enough. more than more than more than this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh. I, I feel like it. Okay, <laughs> I might, I might not agree with, uh, with Rob Zombie in like what he sees are, are like the characteristics to focus on for for Michael in that movie. I don't agree with his vision, but I can at least see that he's trying to do something. Mm-hmm. in the movie okay i no. i don't feel that way in this in this movie okay so right. I, I i kind of i respect rob zombie's halloween more than i respect this movie i'm with this, you yeah this this movie just is just kind of garbage it's not trying to say anything at all and it's not entertaining like you have to be one or the other i think okay i mean it's yes. great if you're both it's great if you're both but this movie doesn't give me anything at all Mm-hmm. I agree with like for better or for worse, um, Rob Zombie tried and it didn't work for pro- nearly everybody, but at least he right. tried to do and he made a movie that feels like a Rob Zombie movie, just yeah. with familiar IP. But this feels like not this feels yeah. like well before the AI generated uh slang term was adopted. Yeah. This feels like it applies to that well before that was even um uh, an insult, right? Well, that had it. That at least had like a style to it. This is just bland. This is nothing. Mm-hmm. Like you said, mm-hmm. like, I think AI is perfect. This this is like a robot wrote the movie, right? And yeah, they're like, okay, put in all the all the uh, Friday the Thirteenth movies, <laughs> and uh, give us another one, but throw kind of like an ugly yellow filter on most <laughs> of it, and uh, and and that's the movie, right? I do. I do want to throw this at whoever wants to take it, or if y'all want to take it. Uh, what approach do you think they should have taken? I mean, like, yeah, uh, with it because good question. I, mean, I, I know we brought it up earlier. You know, if they do like a like a full remake of the original movie, and that they could do that, but a lot of people don't aren't yeah. familiar with it. Uh, they're familiar with Jason. Um, I guess the approach of like trying to combine elements from like the first four movies could have worked if they with better writers but yeah i just want to know like what approach that mm. you guys think would have been better for them to yeah do. my my problem is like the mixed tone so we've been talking about how like bad the characters are uh if you watch like old friday 13th movies they're they have bad characters too but yep. 
like that's because it's this like beam quality movie. They're so charm. this, yeah. yeah, it's a charm. This movie is like, okay, yeah, let's give them the bad characters, but let's also make it good. You know, let's go, let's also make a, a really good movie. They're not leaning into like the goofy B movie. They're like, let's make this serious and like a, like make it look like we're trying hard, but also let's not try hard. <laughs> like let's mm -hmm. not actually put anything <laughs> into those characters. Right. And so yeah. it's, it's that mixed tone. So for me, it's lean into the Friday the 13th feel, lean into the goofiness. If you want these characters like as heightened as you you have them here, it needs to feel more like that Friday the 13th. They need to get along. Kids like like the 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 people in the Friday the 13th movies, they get along. And if you have like a if you have a spat between two of them or something like it's it's that that just adds to the movie. It's not just like everybody hates everybody. Right, so that, right. I, I would like that. I would like either stick to a this <clears throat> B movie feel and actually make yourself a B movie or then if you want to go good, if you want to try to stick to this like story and you're going to make this, you're going to make Jason matter, then you got to have characters in the movie. You got to have good characters that mm -hmm. we like and we can connect to. So yeah, it's just, for me, it's one or the other because they just tried to mix it. Right. No. I, 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 here, I, I think that they fail when they try and make something serious in this movie. And I, I think almost every Friday the 13th movie would fail if you try and go serious. Okay. That's why I, I, I think if you would have had taken the premise from the beginning of the movie, these, this group of friends and, and their quest to find Jason's weed, you know, and, and like, they finally get there. Like they finally get there midway through the movie. Okay. Other things are going on. They get there and then Jason's there and it's just nonstop through the rest of the movie of him killing them that's fun that's entertaining i think you mm -hmm. need to lean into the the fun campiness that we got with those older movies i got a pitch actually gaius to answer your question and it's kind of goes against a little bit of what you said alex because like my brain goes no, fair, like yeah. how would i take it seriously and what i what i would come up with is like because there are as much as i'm shitting on this movie it's not necessarily everything about it i hate there's things that i would keep in it for instance i like that the movie is the contents of the movie are brought to Jason at Camp Crystal Lake. I like that. I would keep that in. If I were to switch it up, instead of like your cliched teenage slash young adult troupe, I would go with like maybe like some sort of land developers or, or a group of people that are trying to like reopen Crystal Lake after 40 years of it be laying dormant there. And this group of people come in to like scout it out and make a plan to how to reopen it. And they kind of come across Jason who goes Rambo mode to protect his home, I guess, sort of thing and trying and kill people one off by one. And it would be a, a one act sort of thing where we don't have the cast of characters killed off. And then another one introduced, it would be, we're right. stuck with these people for the majority of the movie as they get taken off one by one. That's what I would have done for this movie. I don't know if that's been approached. In and that would, that, well, that would be more in line kind of with the first movie too, because they were trying to reopen and yeah. can't okay. crystal Lake. Yeah. yeah and that, you, and you, you can, you can have that. I guess I forgot you can have, that. But well, you can have that element of it, of the original movie without having to do the full right. like mother thing too. And right. that'd be a cool and that could be a cool nod to that original movie. There you go. Uh and I think that, that actually, that's where I was drawing from. I think, <laughs> I, yeah, I, think, I, that. I think that would that, actually that would have been like a pretty good direction to go to go through as well. I think yeah, I, I, I like that. I would say what they're building is high rises. There and you then go. It's like <laughs> yeah. Evil Dead Rise, but it's with Jason <laughs> in the high rise. We we pitch this on our show that Evil Dead <clears throat> Rise. There there should be every other everybody else should be in that building. Like like not in that movie, but you should have your own movie. You should have yep. you should have Michael Myers Rise, Jason Rise, rise. <laughs> Freddy Rise, and they're all they're all just going through the building. Rise. Basically, basically just dread, but for all of the horror icons yep. going through the buildings. Yeah, oh, Jason Jason cool. Rise. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Dean, to your point too, that you are right that like some of like even though the old movies had bad characters, there were also good characters in that to kind of counterbalance that. Like, you yeah. know, for in the first one you had Alice, in the second one you have Ginny, uh, you know, and in the fourth one you have Trish and Tommy Jarvis. Actually, the whole Jarvis family is not bad at all; they're yeah. likable. So, like, you had a mix of like very likable people to go along with like the stereotypes that were featured in those movies. And you're right; uh, they also leaned in on being. B movies too. They weren't trying mm -hmm. to be, you know. I really think this was trying trying to be something more serious, yep. and, yes. but then also trying to appease like B movie fans at the same time. And exactly. that that marriage just doesn't work unless I mean, maybe you can make it work, but you need a better director and writers to do that. 
Certainly. Yeah. 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 And, and I get why they got Marcus Nespel to direct it because he did. I mean, he the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was successful when it came out. Um, and looks wise, that movie looks fine. But I think and I don't think that same. I don't think that dirty I, that this movie should have looked like. But yeah, but I don't think that. Yeah, that this one looks very clean, even though there are a lot of dirty things going on in it. It yeah. looks way too polished uh, <laughs> for a Friday Thirteenth movie. I mean, I mean, nineteen million dollar budget. You can tell that they used the majority of that, and that's great. But yeah, I like I like my Friday Thirteenth movies to look a little cheap. Yep, <laughs> they just, they no, just feel a little better that way. Yeah, yeah, they feel um, feel much better that way. What is a positive everyone has could lend to this movie? Is there anything that you guys took away that you liked, or was it for me in particular? Just to give you an idea of what I'm thinking, like Jenna's death, for instance. Oh, failed. we're gonna disagree hard. On oh, this really? <laughs> in yeah. the sense, okay, not how it plays out. In the sense, uh, how I felt when she died. Like, Jenna was somebody I was rooting for till the end. So to see her kind of killed in that last little flight moment like i was like shit i really wanted her to actually make oh, okay okay, that's well, what wait, I'm okay well, we feel so similar it, on that it i hate that it happens care for a character yeah. that's what i'm saying and that's really one of the only takeaways like positive that i had um as much as i didn't want her to die i was like yeah shit at least it made me feel something for a character but what were you what was it about you didn't like her death scene is that what you're saying no i, I no i actually i didn't like the way she died i also didn't like that she died period i was like of all the because yeah. we because we had to get introduced to all those new characters right she was the only decent one in the yeah. bunch like the only one that had like a semblance of like you know a heart <laughs> and yeah, uh, yeah. humanity and, cool. and they really do set her up to be like the final girl but i guess you already have one in whitney but she's missing for some of the movie too i mean i She's right. in the opening, but then like she's missing for a chunk of the movie as well. So I get maybe they were trying to subvert expectations by killing her, and it was yeah. it is shocking when it mm -hmm. happens because mm -hmm. I remember when it happened in the theater, like we all like kind of jumped and they're like, oh shit. And then mm -hmm. when it was over, I really just thought, and I still feel that way. It, I feel like it's and I and I, I love horror movies and stuff like this. They like people die in them, I know, but I <laughs> always saw that I always thought that her death was like cruel and unnecessary. Like I just like it just yeah. feels like yeah, yeah, you don't really earn it either. It's just kind of like, oh, like you just did that for shock value, not because it, you know, I don't mm -hmm. think it really needs to happen. They could have easily subverted expectations by having two girls survive to the end, and that would have been fine. Sure. And I'm not saying that we need to kill off Jared Padalecki because that supernatural fans would have been upset about that yeah. too. Yeah. Like all three of them could have lived, and that would have been fine. And I, yeah, I've I've always thought it was really unnecessary that she gets killed that way and mm -hmm. killed at all. Yeah, but it made me feel yeah. something, which none of that other right an hour and 36 minutes made me feel so. <laughs> that's true, yeah, true. Yeah, that's yeah. all yeah. What about I, you guys? I, yeah I, I get both of those points for sure because i definitely was super shocked and was not expecting that and was thinking as they're even running like right before that they're kind of, kind of all running through that tunnel i'm like oh, wow they're all gonna make it like <laughs> I, 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 we are gonna make it out and then you just start zooming in on her a little bit you're like the camera's holding on her a little too yeah. long i'm like oh yeah. no mm -hmm. and then there it is right yep. the chest but i agree with it being mean-spirited and that's because you've set up your movie with horrible characters like a bunch of horrible people so you're you're happy that they're getting picked off right like if you're going to set up yep. your movie that way then it's like okay these are the bad people jason's gonna pick them off this is the good person this person's gonna survive and so when like you've set that type of movie up and then you know you kill her just for shock value it does it it does feel mean spirit and i think that's the mixing of the tones again like you can have yeah. that in a different movie but not this movie that you've made where everybody's so awful except for one person right. so yeah that I, I it did feel mean spirited i i think i could have gone either way with it um the problem for me is like i just don't care about the movie as a whole mm -hmm. so to like it to have strong feelings one way or the other, whether she lives, whether she dies, is not going to change the movie for me. Um, I, I completely agree that it's there just for shock value. Um, I don't think it does anything for the story. Um, I don't. I don't think it really does anything for the characters who survive at the end. There's no. We, we don't like see them have to cope with her death at all because there isn't that moment right. in between to in, in between to breathe um and all her just friends are dead too at the end of the movie. <laughs> yeah, right yeah true. <laughs> i don't know friends, I, yeah so like i guess i i don't i don't, I don't care enough yeah yeah makes sense. that makes sense yeah totally fair. i mean yeah but i guess like what the way i was looking at it I was like hey i mean we had to get introduced to this next group of young adults and she's the only one that's nice like she's the only one that yeah. isn't annoying and mm -hmm. um 
again. Well, Clay, I, I Clay, remember, I guess so. He's oh, Clay is I, yeah, Clay's he's fine. A good I, character. I kind of always forget. I always forget about Clay. I don't know why I do because Jerry Pat, like he's pretty reliable and stuff like this. So I, yeah. he's fine. No problem. No problems with. I actually don't even have a problem with Whitney, but it's we don't really get she enough. She just of doesn't her. have uh, enough presence in the right. movie to really like. Yeah, him. yeah. Uh, so yeah, I was pretty. Uh, I watched this movie. A uh, uh, God, five years ago with a girl, and like the one thing that she hated. Was that she went last? So he was like, "Why they let her go last? Like, shouldn't he have let her go first? And then he could have gone last." And I was like, "I was like, I guess that makes sense that he like he should have made sure that they got through first. Yeah. But no, like she goes through last, and that's how she gets mm. uh, right, right to the similar... heart. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, should have been Clay. It reminded me yeah. of <laughs> a, a death in Wrong Turn Four, where there's somebody that's the last to go up. This I don't know if you guys have seen that one, the one that takes place at the uh, asylum in the winter. And oh my god, the snowmobile? Th- no, no. That death? Um, oh, okay, that's the. Like, I always think of that. that oh, death. that's that yeah. movie. Yes, but yeah, um, yeah. the death I'm thinking of is like there's three or four people that are escaping out a window and they got to climb through a bunch of snow, and one of the like villains in that movie is like running down the hall at them with this huge like drill. It's like the size of like a mini gun. I don't know what it really is, like an ice cutting drill or something. And the last person to go through takes it in the back, and it was very similar. To the to Jenna's death in uh, Friday the Thirteenth, but it reminded me of that. So I saw it coming a mile away because that's what I was thinking. Right. Of. Like right. you said, Dean, like the camera's on her too long. We know yeah. Jason's coming at them. It's just luck of the draw, I guess. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I've never yeah, I've and, never and, heard and, someone and, bring up that movie in conversation before. Oh <laughs> my god, wrong. I love that four. Jackson. I'm Fantastic. so happy. Yeah, yeah. My favorite. He does. He does like wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I like. I liked it too. I like the wrong turn movies. Yeah, Yeah. you just saying wrong turn four made me want to cover it on our show. I'm like, I didn't know there was four of them. I want to cover it. There's there's seven of them. Yeah, I want to cover it. Yeah. Not to repick and the my first four pick. are <laughs> varying qualities, but generally good. One and four, I think, are nice. actually solid. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, but definitely yeah. worth checking out on the show for sure. Yeah, that's you got coming enough up on entries. the show for sure. Nice. Yeah. Actually, if you guys yeah. ever do four, count me in. I would love to join. Awesome. You. I, I would yeah. love a chance to rewatch that go. movie. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. He's like, he's like my, my moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is my moment. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, I just want to get back. I just want to get back to Jared Padalecki for a second, because this was like my favorite Jared Padalecki performance. Uh, I I like him, but I do find he gets so whiny. Like, sorry for everyone who's a huge Jared Padalecki fan. He's like like that in House of Wax, too. Uh, yes, he's, he's yes, also I, whiny in that movie. and I absolutely <laughs> love House of Wax. Um, yeah, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah. he's so whiny in that, he's so whiny in like Gilmore Girls in uh, in Supernatural. <laughs> I just find like he always is complaining about something, and uh-huh. this one he wasn't really complaining, he was just like, I gotta find my sister, and he didn't get into that like high voice tone that he gets into when he's just like complaining about something. So, I was, I was really down with him in this movie. I thought Clay was great, okay. Yeah, I haven't really seen. I've seen House of Wax, but I honestly didn't know anything about Jared Padalecki. Oh, he I'd has he it. has the best death in that movie. I mean, it's oh, yeah. pretty what cruel. To him? It's pretty it's pretty cruel. But uh, so he's already been like waxed up, but he's still alive. Uh, and uh, and then like he realizes that his friend is like picking at it at his face, and it clearly like rips yeah. off like his skin, and like, you see all. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh. And then and yeah, yeah, he has a and he's like crying too while it uh, happens. Like it's Jesus. it's pretty awful. Great movie, uh, but yeah, he he is very whiny in that movie. He's just always like, I feel like his arms are always like, mm. yeah. <laughs> he's like so upset about something. exactly, <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like what's wrong? I just dude? like, I just can't stand it because I was watching, I was watching like Gilmore Girls and Supernatural like kind of at the same time, and I was just like, man, this guy, like he's just everywhere you go, he's just got things to complain about. <laughs> uh, spe- uh, speaking of the mixed tones too, they do try to do serious stuff with like I guess character building when he's explaining to like the cop like why he's looking for his sister and you're like well you know your sister's probably gone or whatever and he's like well you know her mom had cancer and she you know she looked yeah. after her and she died and like she didn't come to the funeral and i was like all right they threw that in there so we were like we would care more mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's yeah. you know but it it you know it just you could tell they just like it's thrown in randomly and yeah. they're yeah. like all right well didn't do much <laughs> to make me care more about no, him no. finding her <laughs> you could have removed that entire scene could have removed the whole yeah. thing and the movie went to change it all again yeah it was all so surface level like he talked later to uh to jenna about it too like he's like oh i bailed yeah. when i was 17 we talked again and yelled at each other and it's like what what are you talking about like what actually <laughs> happened what are you, yeah. what's the yeah. timeline here why did you leave when you were 17 if your mom was sick like what yeah. right. i need i need more i need more about you 
Absolutely. These are bullet points. It, it, it reminded me, yeah, they're just it reminded me of like it reminded me of those random lines that were thrown into the Texas Chainsaw remake when they had to explain like why she could pick locks and why she knew how to hotwire a car. Yeah. And she's like, Oh, I had big brothers, and she's like, I went to Juvie. I was like, Okay, well, well why what? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like why? Is that like you learn that in Juvie 101? <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. like, <laughs> pretty sure you're not yeah, able to steal cars at Juvie anyway. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, There's a common well, denominator here. It's Marcus, whatever Nesbol. his last name is, Nesbol, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess I guess yeah. what I like the most about it, we already like we really talked about it, that opening is really good. Yeah, like, it's For the yeah, most part, it, dialogue it, notwithstanding. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're talking well, about good hey, things. I forgot. Hey, I forgot I, what we were yeah. doing here. We're talking about good things. <laughs> I do like. That, so. <laughs> I do like when Ben Feldman. It doesn't want to go out of the tent because he has a boner. Like I do that like was, that. Yes, yes, yes. He is like his girlfriend wants him to go out and search right away because she heard a noise. He's like, I'm not going out there with what a boner. <laughs> like, yeah, boner? that's good. Like, <laughs> yeah. Often, often they're just having sex in a tent, and the guy just goes out looking. And it's like, out, I don't yeah. know. You, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Take a second. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That was fair. <laughs> like that, that was we're pulling, we're pulling, yeah. we're, we're pulling for that for good moments. <laughs> yeah. What was the no, good right, moment? Right. Uh, the boner joke. That was the good moment. The boner joke. I, truthfully, I thought all the kills looked really good in this movie. Yeah, I agree. There's that. Yeah. They are. Yeah. Like... yeah. Um, I, I'll the go kill, with that. It great. Solid. Yeah. And they were, like, they were pretty. Lots of gore, too. and they look yeah. good. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, my buddy, when we said we were covering this movie, he said that the movie reminded him a lot. Uh, in the in the way that he likes that like he thinks jason is kind of like in he loves seeing jason in pure killer mode and he compared it to Agreed. like michael myers and halloween kills where it's like didn't love mm -hmm. that he didn't love it but he loved the fact of watch like watching him do his thing and that's yeah. kind of what yeah. he liked about yeah that's yeah. what he likes about Definitely. this movie yeah. is that there is a lot of that for sure i mean yeah that it doesn't skip on like the kills are all really fun and inventive and they look great i guess that's some more good stuff we could say about it <laughs> for <laughs> on sure top yeah of it. yeah it says like the whole, the Friday Thirteen movies have always been known for really cool kind of gore effects and death scenes and stuff. So I would say some of those rank that in here rank pretty high in the mm. franchise as a whole. Yeah. Um, yeah. But but yeah, definitely needed more than that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> for, it was a good, not for a good to movie to make. Movie. Yeah. And I think it feels so long too, because like yeah, as much as I love that first twenty five minutes, it feels like I was like, wow, that's I feel like I already had a lot of movie. <laughs> and then, mm. like we had, we had right. introduced some more. So, like, I it really did feel longer than ninety seven minutes. And yeah, it, it, it what this is should have been a breeze, and it's it just not. Like, it kind of drags into its conclusion, and you well, just don't really care. I start once it ends, you're like, all right, you yeah, already tapped there's out. No, yeah, there's nothing to hold on to. Like the kills look good, but you don't care about the characters who are dying. Like and and, and they're right. not even for the most part, except for um Trent, douchey boyfriend, they're not even to that level like where I'm excited to see them die. Right. Uh, you know, because okay. it's the two types of two types of kills. There's the ones where you care about the person, so you feel an emotion when they die, and then there's the the ones where you hate the character and you're rooting for them to die. Die, yeah. Hmm. And this doesn't really have that. Yeah, I was good. happy to see Trent go. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I, I was too. And it was a good. It was one. I'm, I'm glad that they. I glad yeah. they paid it off pretty decently. I was like, I loved hearing him scream like a girl. That was fun. That was funny. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah. And, um, and yeah. I thought it was odd how they seem to like want to paint like there's like the driver of the truck that he inevitably gets pinned on is like ambiguous you think is this jason like with the truck now like, why don't we, why are we not seeing the driver and then the driver yeah. sticks out his hand and like motions for him to come over which yeah. again didn't feel like a real life scenario and then for it kind of to be baited and switch i however it ended up happening i was happy that trent went out in such glorious fashion Oh yeah, um, but uh, yeah, again, didn't really feel much afterwards. Like, okay, well, there's our really our central antagonist. It <laughs> felt like the movie is gone now. And well, now that's, we that's Jason. yeah, that's true. It does give us fun like, after he that's does. when it feels like it's done. It feels yeah, like yeah. once Trent is put on the back of that truck, it's like, uh, what what else am I here for? Like, what? Uh, that's all I wanted to see because the rest of that is just like Clay and Jenna going back again for like the third or fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Crystal, Camp Crystal Lake, and you're like, why did you go back here again? I don't even know why they went back here again because at that point they don't even know. Yeah, that, they don't that know that she's in the in the basement. <laughs> so you're back there, 
and you're thinking, okay, I mean, you have five more minutes left in this movie. You gotta get, you gotta hustle. Let's go. Like, right. we're, we yeah, must yeah, yeah. be at the end point. by I this point. Like, that. <laughs> let's pick, let's pick things up here. And that's when I think it starts to feel like it drags. Because yeah, after Trent's gone, you're like, let's just resolve this thing. Let's let's, let's just yeah, be over. let's wrap it yeah. up here. Yeah. You know what I didn't get though? I well, what, what, I I don't think they tried to frame the scene this way but it's when he has the gun he's just shooting randomly because he's oh, clearly not good with everything that away. bumps he's like but then, he, yeah. but then he shoots through the door and then he probably knocks the door open and then brie falls down but he doesn't even check to see how brie died i was like i wonder if he thought that he just shot her he did yeah he did all right because he's like brie yeah. so he killed brie i was yeah. like oh so he, we were supposed yes. to think that he shot her okay but like they gotta make that more obvious like he yeah, definitely right. <laughs> should think that he shot her he shot through right. the door he yeah. kind of peeked in. She was on the ground. She had, she was bleeding and yeah. he did like he shot through her body. So he right. should <laughs> think that he killed her, but there's yeah. nothing there. He just like kind of comes out and he's like, Oh, uh, Jason got her. And then they yeah. leave. And it's like, <laughs> it's funny. Cause like, he's right, but he doesn't know he's right. 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 Yeah. 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 But like, let us know a bit more, you know, like we right. should be mad at him in that moment. And we're both, we're, we're just like all sitting there like questioning. Oh, like, does he know that he did that or not? You know, mm. make it obvious to us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I honestly would have liked um, just seeing her still mounted up on the wall and him find her that way. It would have been a better, I would have liked that yeah. more, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, this makes him even worse. Homie thinks he's like, yeah, I should probably shot and killed her. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, he yeah. did it. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Um, What do you think of the overall, I guess, conclusion of the movie? Like how they're, how they take out Jason? Like, yeah, I guess at that point, it's just like, you probably don't care anymore. Cause it's just, it probably should have ended a lot earlier than that. Um, why why don't they continue to feed him into the yes. chipper? Thank you. Chipper. <laughs> like, you're right there. Just stay there. right there. Yeah, you're right there. Just, uh, just push, push a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. A little push. Fill yeah. a big dummy full of fake blood and shove that thing in there and have yeah. a field day. Let the camera sit on it. I don't know why they didn't it's do so, that. It's so they can have the ending and then right. when they make a boatload of money, they can make another one. Like that's yeah. why. Because they want yeah. they want that ending that where he comes out uh through the dock and Which you know pulls Whitney down. Yeah. Like I hate, it's obviously I hate, I hate, I, ugh, how yeah. lazy can you get? <laughs> yeah, it's obviously great in the original movie. Yeah, but of like, uh, yeah. I, I, just put him through the wood chipper. Better, I yeah, like it better. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's talking about two scenes that, like, even though this is like a more, I guess, polished movie and stuff, but there's that moment where she's clearly trying to confuse him with the locket, and she's mm. like, you know, you don't right. have to do this. You it's don't okay have to, now. Everything's Jason. done, right? It's okay now. But there's a similar scene in the second one, and Amy Steele does it as Ginny, and uh, probably, you know, maybe still, is, I guess, compared to Amanda Rady, might not be like the best actress, but that scene plays better in the second movie where she's yeah. trying to confuse him by putting on his mom's sweater. And then he's like, oh, like, is that my mom? Because he is kind of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, this but... Jason is too smart. This Jason is <laughs> smart too to smart fall for, for that, that yeah. scene. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he yeah, would not yeah. fall for that scene. Like, it just doesn't make any sense with what you've set up with Jason here. The guy grew a yeah. field of weed to attract <laughs> the best <laughs> weed in the world to attract teenagers. He's not going to fall for like, hey, here's your mom's locket. Yeah, yeah. Does he think? Okay, so hold on. Does he think that that is his mom, or is it I just think because so, yeah. she looks like the mom? Yeah, I, whatever. Yeah, he, what is it? Yeah, but what is? But he saw he saw his mom's cares. head get chopped off, though. I mean, like he kept, and he oh, had yeah, her head. He has, he has his her mom's head. Yeah. Her head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He kept it. Yeah, that that was good. I liked that. I liked that he had. Yeah, that. Did, yeah. Is that the skull <laughs> no. that they knock over in the? Yeah. And they the, pull, the tub, reaches yeah. in he and pulls, pulls it out, it out yeah. and then like yeah. drops oh. it in the tub. I um, think I was yeah. texting during that part. <laughs> it's, it's I, don't I, like that part. I had, don't remember that. But I mean, how stu- he goes? I, I think that is it a doll's head? I think there's a doll's yeah. head. Yeah. Do you see a doll? I think a yeah. Doll. yeah, yeah, yeah. No. yeah. Dude, right. dude, Idiot. leave, leave. I don't have any yeah. friends that would want to explore a, a place like that. Like, let's go in here and like check this out. Like, no, why? Why are we? Why are we in here? <laughs> like, I I can kind of relate to what is the <laughs> I can't remember what the character's name was. Um, the one that is with the uh, with Whitney, the Whitney's boyfriend in the beginning when he goes, "Where's your sense of adventure?" Like, I do. I did relate to him a little bit there, actually. You so you would be yeah. that? Oh, yeah, she's you would. Dead. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm gonna die. Gonna lie. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jackson I'm was the first to the old, I like to be scared. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> first yep. one dead in the horror movie. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, and he's seen so many horror movies. He's seen so many, and he would still do it. <laughs> yeah. Still walk right into that cabin. <laughs> now it'd be different if I had some context. Like, for instance, if I knew that the, a massacre had occurred here, and there was rumors 
of you know the killer still being alive or something that might be a different story but Wait, don't they tell that story in front of them like they mentioned or are they gone by that point i can't remember i just watched it no um, they're still no i think they're, they're all there. there they're, they're, they're yeah. still there so they all they know this the story <laughs> right yeah, but i guess yeah. they all know that he he's around it's i guess yeah wade's yeah, yeah like right. stupid story that no one really right. buys you don't into, really believe I guess. Them. Yeah. yeah 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 they don't start believing until they see like a bed that has Jason's name on it, and they're like, yes. "Wait a second! Wait a minute! A typical agnostics. <laughs> Where have yeah. I heard that name before? Yeah. Oh, it was five minutes ago, <laughs> dude. That whole part where the boyfriend's on the ground and he's just like shoving the machete up. Ooh, oh, yeah, that, oh, that was so. Yeah, that was so cool. Up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. God, God, I, I honestly think someone else directed that opening, dude. <laughs> right. it could be, yeah. 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 honestly. Like, it just feels it's so weird how com- a completely different movie it feels once that's over. Yeah. And like and how they couldn't like build on that momentum at all. It's like that's ah, crazy to me. Or they just I, had the script and the script was just that first part and then they shot it and they're like, this is only 20 minutes. What? <laughs> it's only 25 minutes. <laughs> oh, I thought shit. this was gonna be two hours. I thought it was gonna be an hour thirty, but it's actually only 20 minutes. Now what do we do? And we they're have like, I guess we gotta write the rest of it. left. Yeah. <laughs> like we need six million dollars to cast all these people for the back yeah. half of the movie. <laughs> Oh man, that's hilarious. Uh well, when the movie came out, actually it made so this is a I guess this kind of could tell what people thought about it when it came out. It opened to 43 million dollars, which was the biggest opening of the franchise at that point. And it was the biggest three-day opening for a horror film uh up to that point too. It beat the grudge, which had a uh a 35 or 38 million dollar opening. However, in its second weekend, it dropped 80.4%. It was a re- yeah, it's I think it's still the record. Uh yeah, it's a second, it's a, second week drop. Yeah, drop, yeah. Wow. Seven point seven point uh nine million. It went from number one at the box office to number six. It was out of the top ten by its third uh weekend. It made sixty three million dollars domestic and then ninety two point seven million dollars worldwide. It still made money oh, relative yeah. to its but relative to its budget, but uh a uh, forty-three million dollar opening and a sixty-three million dollar finish at the domestic box office is that yeah, means it died a very quick. That's worth well, yeah. I was gonna say every, everyone rushed to go see it, and then everyone rushed to tell their friends to don't see it. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't well, see it. do not out, go see this movie. Yeah, it came Unless out like on tits. a Friday the thirteenth, right? So they're yeah. everyone's like, you gotta see ah, it on Friday fair. the thirteenth. And then when other plans yeah. came up or whatever, and they're like, I'm not gonna see it though. Like, I'm not yeah. gonna actually go next weekend to see right. it. Who's gonna on go Friday see it on the 20th, Friday the twentieth? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> I'm not a loser. <laughs> I'm curious to see how the other movies have trended uh, on their second weeks and whatnot. And like, if it yeah. actually, cause I'm sure most of them, if not all of them have come out on a Friday the 13th. I wonder if that's the draw. I'd be curious to see those. That could be the draw. Somewhere, Some there must be a graph yeah. somewhere. Yeah. They, I mean, relative to like in the eighties, I mean, they weren't having, they didn't have huge opening weekends like this one did. Right. But yeah. Uh, I, I, I distinctly remember this when it came out. Cause it was, uh, TMZ, I guess, uh, that opening weekend got the whole cast out, and everyone was celebrating how it made all that money opening weekend. They wow, couldn't wait yeah. to do a, they couldn't wait to do a sequel. They were so cool. happy, cool. and I just remember, and I remember that second weekend drop, and I thought I read it wrong, and I was like, Jesus, I was like, that <laughs> is, I mean, I mean, I mean, horror movies tend even when they're good tend to drop like fifty percent or maybe yeah. a little bit more. But right. 80, 80.4 percent is ridiculous. That's I mean, wild. Yeah. You're, you're right that everyone that saw it that opening weekend was like, "Yeah, guys, if you, you know, just wait, well, till it comes don't out worry about it. it. Yeah, <laughs> not worth your time." And they were going to do a sequel. <laughs> they announced one and then they undated it. Uh, and then, as we know, the franchise ended up in like litigation for like a lot of years, which I think is finally resolved now. Um, but I think even they knew that, like, hey, we kind of screwed this up and we didn't do it right. I don't think they knew what else to do if they did a second one. And I honestly don't know what they would have done. They never really talked about what a sequel would have really been, hmm. unless they were gonna, unless they were gonna do like, oh, okay, let's combine five, six, seven, eight, and nine, <laughs> and we'll make that the sequel. Yeah, and a little yeah. sprinkle of Jason X. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah, let's let's have one scene in space. <laughs> in space. <laughs> <laughs> Just um, one, yeah, just that's where the movie scene. ends. Yeah, yeah. On the yeah. note, I need you guys help here because I can't remember. But uh, I'm on the trivia page here on IMDb, and it says the body count of this movie is 14, which is pretty solid, actually. 
Yeah, um, yeah. It says 13 of which are killed by Jason. Who's the one person not killed by Jason? So it would be Pamela, like the Pamela, I guess oh, mom no. who's decapitated right. at the beginning. Yeah. Of course, the yeah. very first death we see in the yeah. movie. Yeah. That was quick, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, he's like, damn it, Jackson. <laughs> and I, I was, was watching at that point. He too. was like, he was like, it's the first two minutes of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually forgot that part was in the movie. So when it I started, did, I kind of did too. Yeah. I was like, oh. and when it started, I was like, wait, what? what is this? Am I watching I the right movie? I wish I, think I it forgot like that this. part was in the movie because, geez, yeah. it did nothing for me. No, in the first 20 minutes of the movie, we get two time jumps. Yeah. 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 Always good. Mo- Always a good movie, movie keeps... when you have that. Yeah. It keeps moving. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, well, now that, uh, what do you kind of want from him mean, i know we we're getting like that peacock show crystal lake like a prequel series Bay 24 like, what... series right yeah, yeah um right but i mean we we're getting that but like what do you want from this franchise now like do you think it just should be would you want another movie theatrical movie or are you, are you, you done with it um because this one, what this one came out 15 years ago, he hasn't been on the big screen in 15 years. Uh, I actually, same thing with like Nightmare on Elm Street, it's been a long time since Freddy Krueger's been on the big screen. Yeah, Michael, Michael, Myer, right Michael right Myers has been like dominating the big screen, like, yeah, uh, uh, you know, these two biggies like Jason and Freddy haven't been on in a while, but like, is it something like do you want another Friday the 13th movie? Is that yep. something that you want to see? Yeah, there's what, not, you, there's what would you do? Be. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Uh, well, I kind of said earlier what to me. Uh, where I think like the focus should be, and it's on making a fun movie. I don't need the dark, gritty stuff. That's I, I've seen that before. All right, it, it usually doesn't work well for me. Um, I want campy. I want fun, and uh, just stick to that. I don't really have like a plot in mind, but I think that that's sort of the essence. Like, give us characters that we're excited to see die, and just keep it keep it light. Yeah, yeah. You got to make another one that's in theaters. It's the 13th one. Like oh, you have yeah. your chance. It's your moment. Like yeah. you have 12 of them. Oh, that's, a, that's the all one. the, that's all the marketing too. That's all the marketing. Would yeah, be. exactly. <laughs> you got all the marketing. You got all the pressure. This is the one you make this one good. You get to make more. You make this one bad. Everybody knows about it and you're not going to be allowed to make any more. So that's right. You got to just make a good one. You got to make a good Friday 13th movie. I think. I don't know what I want. I mean, like those movies are so they're so strange because they're just like you can't kill him. I mean, he's not even human. He's like a zombie by the end. And, you know, he just goes around killing people in fun ways. That's it. That That's like basically all those movies are. So I don't know what it would take yeah. to make like the good one. But this is your opportunity. You got to do it and it's got to be good. Hmm. Yeah. Do you do you do you see any kind of uh, I know I mentioned the whole uh the original movie, do you see any road to actually remaking that as it is where he's not the focus, it's the mother? Could you make that a good remake? If it's going to be done, I think it's done in this series. I don't know about a movie. Yeah, which I would actually support if we see Jason at the end or if we see him as a child, if that's the route they want to go, I'm okay with that. Um, I like the platform of a show for this IP where it's been so long that it's been tackled, but I don't know where to begin with what I want to see out of it. I'm kind of just going to see what they give us at this point yeah yeah but you guys i don't i don't think we i don't think we need it um i don't I'm, know i also agree yeah, with that too yeah yeah I, here the yeah. first listen go back and watch the first movie again it uh there's a reason why more why it spawned a franchise okay but it's not a great movie by any means like it's entertaining it's indie, it's, yeah yeah it, it's, it's, fun to it's watch. entertaining for sure yeah. but it's not but it's not life-changing by any means i don't i, I hate don't, when I don't, people compare it to halloween i'm like no yeah it's not. absolutely not <laughs> not even close not even close yeah. um so no i i truthfully i don't think it needs needs a remake i've always said the original movie is the only one that tries to be like good like it, like it's it's a it's a solid little murder mystery it, like it really mm-hmm. tries to like it tries its best to like be a a movie yeah <laughs> out yeah, of all those I mean. original ones yeah. and, sure. but like when, when when people compared to halloween i was like no that's not that's not it it's definitely yeah, not man. as good uh it definitely but i do i i mean it did spark the whole like more i think more than halloween it did spark the whole uh like slasher thing in the 80s i mean they they yeah. tried to copy that more than they really copied halloween and even halloween 2 was like well we got to copy 
Friday the Thirteenth. He has to be bloodier, and like we need more kills. So that that franchise definitely spawned that, and yeah. you know, for better or worse. But yeah, I, I I always want to see these people back on the big screen. I don't. I, like I said, I don't. I agree with you, Alex. We don't need it, but I would wouldn't mind having it either. I would see. Listen, I would watch it. I'm not saying I wouldn't watch it. I just don't think we need it. Yeah. Yeah. I completely agree. I hope it's good. If they give it to us and it's good, then I will support it. But I don't necessarily have too much faith. I think A24 is a good uh, company to have this IP. I'm excited to see what they do with it. I'm very biased, though. I really love that company. But yeah, time will tell. Do we have any word on where that series yeah, uh, is at in development? I think, I think now the strike's over. I think they're still, still yeah, they went back to writing it? and all that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it, and I like the idea of it. It sounds like a really cool idea. And uh, Brian Fuller is a good. Uh, he's behind it, so that'll be good, too. So. Uh yeah. See the Hannibal guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that show's awesome. So you guys haven't be, seen. I really recommend. Yeah, nice. Really good show. All right, it's the moment where we have to give our oh, scores. Uh, <laughs> I've talked myself into hating this more than I thought I did. It was one of those. Um, we gonna we'll let our guests go first. Uh, between yes. Alex and Dean, whoever wants to take it first. Uh, uh go ahead, Dean. Okay, great. We'll start it off on um, a positive. We'll start it off on a positive. I don't want yes, to that's it. right. Yeah. Sounds good. Start it off on a positive. Uh, what are we doing out of 10 here? Uh, whatever you prefer. Like, whatever yeah, whatever, like, however whatever you, you want to do. Yeah, yeah, okay. Here. Okay. Um, so when I came into it, I thought it would be sort of a right down the middle one, uh, maybe leaning a little lower than halfway. Um, just because, yeah, I didn't like anything about it leading into it. Like, I didn't like the characters. I didn't like... Um, the feel of it, you know, it's not a Friday 13th movie. Um, but putting that aside and being able to actually enjoy it this time around, uh, like I can, I can confidently go five out of 10 here. I can confidently say it's just like, it's a right down the middle. Like I think yeah. it doesn't have the things you need for a Friday movie, but it was totally watchable and I had a good time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go right down the middle. Okay. Respect it. Uh, I think I can also go five, um, Five out of 15. And, uh, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so five out of 15. This this movie is not good. I don't enjoy it. Uh, it has some interesting kills, but by the end, I am I find myself wishing that I hadn't watched it. Like I like I had wasted my time. Uh and and I tell myself afterwards, and I know eventually I'll have to watch this movie again for uh, for the podcast, but I always go, I'm not gonna watch that again. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. And then I and then I'm back into it. I'm like, I told myself I wasn't gonna do that for a reason. For a reason, because it's bad. Try, I guess, if you do get roped into seeing in the future, maybe like look for other things in it than to just sit down and watch it for the sake of watching it. Maybe you'll get something out of it if you're looking to get something different out of it. You yeah, gotta find some, you gotta find some okay. of that Jason weed. Yeah, yeah. 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 That'll help then, you enjoy and it. Exactly. And then you'll discover all the you'll discover all the nuances in its plot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They'll reveal and themselves too yeah. and the character beats that you know they were right. going for <laughs> all yeah. right what about you jackson uh so out of five i give this one a one and a half so a three out of ten i've been following the letterbox format um which i which i realize contradicts my earlier um thoughts about it being better than uh marcus nispel's other movie the um Texas, Texas Chainsaw, Chainsaw remake. I give that a two out of five. So I guess I've, like I said, I talked myself into not liking this movie a little bit more. It was fun to discuss though, for sure. And I think it does the bare minimum in terms of like what you said, Alex, it has some decent kills. It looks good. Like Jason uh, is great in this. Uh, although like maybe not all the character traits he has, but he looks great where he's menacing. He does right. what we want him to do. And that's really where I give this movie points, not much for anything else. Um, I wish I could get that hour and a half back, but you know what? I'm <laughs> glad to have channeled that into a great discussion today. So that yeah. is really where I take – yeah, that's how I rate it. One and a half out of five. I'm, yes. uh, pretty, I'm pretty much with all you guys, I guess. I, if I'm doing it out of 10, I guess I'll give it a four. Okay. Uh, and uh, I was happy to do it for this. I thought it would be a good discussion. Um, yeah. And I thought it was interesting before I uh, we – put this together a lot of people have been writing about it because it's turning 15 and you know what a lot of the articles have all been like kind of what went wrong articles <laughs> and they haven't okay. been like it hasn't, they haven't really been positive but i mean but a lot of the articles have been like this what could have been and all that kind of stuff like what did they do that wasn't right like where did it go wrong and i thought it was interesting to kind of i kind of figured this might be the 
discussion for this because even I usually I can be the positive one when it comes to these kind of movies, and mm-hmm. I I it was a chore to get through today. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, even though, even though I found some entertaining moments in it, and I like again, I still love that opening. It starts out so well, and then it just kind of deflates after that. Yeah. And but yeah, but I, 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 I'm happy that we all got together for this and talked about it. So at least there was that <laughs> that came out of it. Yes, even a broken <laughs> clock is right twice a day, Gaius. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um before we wrap everything up uh I, we'd like you guys to uh for anyone that hasn't listened to your podcast uh tell them a little bit about it and tell them what uh you guys currently have running on it right now yeah dino take it away all right uh the podcast <laughs> is uh return revenge resurrection we cover horror franchises uh so we will pick a franchise we trade back and forth who gets to pick the franchise and then we walk uh, through each movie in that franchise. Each movie is a, its own episode. And then uh, at the end of it, we do an epilogue episode, we call it, where we talk about the entire franchise and all the things we liked in it, the things we didn't, how we, how we view it as a whole. Um, we rank all the movies in it. We rank the franchise against all the other franchises that we've covered before. Um, it's just sort of like a, a going away party episode to the franchise. And then we... Uh, Pick a pick a new one after that. So uh, those episodes come out on Thursday. Uh, we currently have just wrapped up prom night, and the next episode is actually our hundredth episode. Uh, so what nice. we're going to do is a little awards show. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do an awards show and give awards out to movies that we've covered. So we're going to give. Uh, we haven't announced what the awards will be, but some are going to be good and some are going to be bad, and we'll have uh, so nominees bad. and and pick the winners. <clears throat> Uh, of of those awards and then after that uh we're actually jumping into the hannibal lecter franchise covering all the movies oh. um that uh have hannibal lecter in them uh so yeah that's gonna be uh that's gonna be a good one that's yeah, fantastic that's, that's a great uh series to get into are you gonna be starting with michael mann's we are, uh, yeah, yeah, man yeah. Hunter. Yeah. Man Hunter. Yep. I was gonna say a yeah. man tracker is in my head. I haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't that's seen great. it either. I'm excited to see that one. Cool, yeah. awesome. Good stuff. I expect uh, I'm excited for when you guys inevitably do wrong turn. I'll be listening to that for sure. Can't wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have you on. Re- yeah, I yeah. would love to, especially for four. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. And your guys' podcast, your podcast is like super fun too. I just, everyone that hasn't listened to it, it's a really great listen, uh, especially if you're into uh, a lot of these horror franchises. And Alex and Dean will be on, um, we got a schedule it still, but they will be on the deep dive spinoff uh, soon. Uh, and uh, they picked a really good movie for us to uh, dive into. So I'm excited for that. So you'll be hearing from them again uh, fairly shortly. So they will not what, be strangers. What are you guys covering? <laughs> Unless you want to keep it as a secret, that's fine. I just no, we can, you can say, I can say it. Yeah, they, they picked it. So yeah. Okay, what are you guys, are you guys doing? Yeah. Uh, we chose The Witch. Oh yes. man, that's awesome! Yeah. Great, great pick. Well, awesome. well, well, Jackson, you could be on too. I <laughs> would love to. When he, when is, <laughs> what is it for? <laughs> well, it, yo, what's funny about the spinoff? He, it's it, like the show is also Jackson's, but he always kind of treats like the spinoff as like, no, it's like your thing. I'm like, well, no, it's it's your thing too. Like, you can be right. on. I would love to join. The Don't <laughs> be be great. Yeah. You can I join your own I, show. I, yes, I love yeah. Robert Eggers to death. I'm very excited for Nosferatu at the end of the year, and The Witch. I yes. remember seeing that yes. one came out. Yeah, yeah, fantastic, great. Well, looking forward to that, guys. Um, nice. All right. Without further ado, then I guess that wraps up uh, episode 151 of Back to the Blockbuster. Thank you guys very much uh, for joining us on this episode where we slugged through the 2009 remake of Friday the 13th for better or for worse. Uh, Dean and Alex, it was great having you guys back on. Really looking forward to having you guys on in the future. And of course, so as Absolutely. I mentioned, uh, Thank you. We'll, have your, we'll have your show pinned in the comments. And guys, really strongly recommend you guys go check out their show. And uh, if you guys listen to us on Thursdays, why not make it a double feature and listen to the new episode of return revenge resurrection or wherever you guys get your podcasts thanks again for tuning into another episode guys and we will see you next week thanks for joining guys peace